congratulations on uh, the last stop. It was it was a lot of fun. I uh, thank you. Yeah, I, it is. Thank you. Yeah, I, I spoke to Jim yesterday, and you know, we're talking about it, and uh, you know, you you play a fun little, you know, sort of villainous characters. <clears throat> you know, I. And I was curious, you know, when it, I sort of asked Jim a similar question, you know, when you were first reading the script, did you think you maybe had a handle initially on where the story was going? And or were you, you know, utterly surprised about the twists and turns that it was taking along the way? Yeah, I was utterly surprised, which is one of the big reasons I wanted to do it initially before meeting Francis and then really realizing to do it. Um, and then hearing Jim was in it, that was another great reason, uh, was exactly that, is that as I was reading, you know, I, I read lots of genre scripts, you know, I do, a, I do a fair number of them and they send me a lot of them. And often I'll kind of know where they're going and, you know, they're fine. It's, it's, some of them are really good and some of the kind, but this one, I just did not know. I mean, especially that last 20 or 30 pages. I was <laughs> like, oh my God, you know. Um, and I don't want to give anything away, but there's some real, some things you just do not expect. Um, and I just sold me right away. You know, I was just sold right away when I read that because it just, you know, that was incredibly original. You know, Barbarian, a film I did a couple of years ago. Um, you know, I had a similar experience reading that, both of those films. I think I read them around the same time. Sure. Um, you know, just great and that's yeah that's one of the big reasons i signed up for sure yeah yeah you're you're you play a great character in barbarian as well you know and you know we don't i don't think we we see your character you know he's he's such a presence in the movie i think people forget we don't see you until what like at least an hour into the movie right <laughs> right right yeah yeah, yeah. Well, that's great it was, okay, great. It was uh, yeah same vibe as the same you know, you, that's what I'm saying to people. Try to go to this film, uh, Last Stop, without knowing anything. The least you know, the less you know, the better. Because uh, you just go and go for the ride. You know, just the unexpected. Yeah. And yeah. most of this film, I believe, you, tend to, you tend to kind of have ideas of what's happening. Because, you know, these genre films tend to have typical, you know, scenarios or twists. So you'll you know, what I found is I was like, oh, this is going to happen, isn't it? And then all of a sudden, it doesn't happen. Something completely different happens. You're like, oh, so definitely go see it without knowing. Yeah. Well, I, I agree with that. I can't wait for everyone else to see it. I was, you know, <laughs> I couldn't believe, I definitely didn't see certain things coming. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'd see it again, for sure. And, you know, yeah, like you said, you've done a lot of, you know, genre projects and, you know, you, you've played... You know, I feel like like a lot of, you know, the sort of character, you know, criminal type characters. I, I was curious, you know, playing this character, did you find that you were you found yourself, you know, channeling any, you know, like, you know, playing your character in Last Stop? Like, oh, I feel like this, there were shades of, you know, this past movie that I did or or anything like that come to mind. You know, in a way, the, no, the yeah, not at all. In fact, that's one of the things that I loved about it was that, um, particularly as Francis and I developed the character more and more, getting closer to the shoot, was that he was so still. I, I, you know, I've yeah. always wanted to play a character that was incredibly still. I mean, I did a character in 31 who was still, but not all the time. And, you know, I had some incredible monologues, uh, a Rob Zombie film, some incredible stuff with Rob. Um, but I wanted to do a character, I've been wanting for a while to do a character that was very, very frightening because he was so in control. Um, so it was fun to to really experiment and work with that. And so there wasn't a lot of characters in my past that have been like that. I've, you know, I've a few probably, but I, I can't think of the top of my head. So it really wasn't channeling anything. It was, it was the fact it was so new uh, or it was a new, you know, its ability to explore an area that I love, which is just be terrifying by doing very little and just yeah. holding the thoughts of the character. Um, and you have to trust your director to do that. You've really got to have a very, very good director. And there may be something slightly wrong with me mentally because I decided to do that with the director on his first feature film. But I trusted Francis wholeheartedly to um, to let me know. Because if, if you go too 
quiet, too still. It can be non-existent. You know, you can literally vanish. There's nothing there. People are like, we've done that. And you have, it's really a thin line. It's very, very tricky to do. Yeah. Um, and you have to have a good director to do it with. And Francis did it. You know, I trusted him 100%. And I'm so glad I did. No. Yeah, that's true. I mean, as you're saying that, I remember, yeah, there, there are, you know, this movie has its fair share of loud characters, but I think some of the eeriest moments are when you're, your character is just kind of sitting there, you know, staring at the, you know, waitress, you know, <laughs> and you're right. You're just like totally still just, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't, I've done a little bit of acting in my day. I, I would not be able to pull that off. <laughs> I'd be shaking and fidgeting and, you know, whatever, playing with my, chewing my fingernails or something. You know? <laughs> so, so hats off. It was a great performance. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, and I, it seems like you're everywhere these days. I just went to a screening of The Strangers Chapter One, and I saw you know playing the sheriff in the diner there. And I know there are more you know chapters yeah. two. Yeah, and that was fun. I thought that right. Yeah, I thought yeah. that right. Yeah, yeah. Have, there'll be more of me in Chapter Three. Yeah. I I I'm not surprised, you know. I, I see seeing an actor like you in in the in the diner, and then not not really seeing you again. You know, I'm like, oh, I bet you know that's why there's a chapter two and three. I'm like, oh, I, I definitely haven't seen the last of you. I mean, so I was just gonna ask. Of, of course, I I don't know how much you can share, but anything you can sort of tease about what's to come i i'd love to hear because i loved chapter one i loved the original and... yeah i thought i mean i haven't seen one yet um but uh obviously i saw the trailer and i've been speaking to the producer and uh yeah. directors you know it i mean i think i mean I, and the word on it is that it's fantastic i mean i'm so i'm very excited for people to see it uh and two and three even more so you know i mean it really kind of i don't want to skip away anything but it's, you know, we, we shot them all at the same time and it was a crazy shoot. Um, and really some, some, I mean, the, I think there, it's going to be a real, I think people are going to love all three of those. I really do. I'm really excited um, for those coming out. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing one. Yeah. So far, okay. Yeah. I, I, I think I was annoying people in the theater because I kept shrieking and <laughs> people sitting <laughs> there. People sitting near me were probably be like, dude, can this guy just shut up? Because I was just like, I was like doing this the whole time. And, you know, so, but I think that's, that just speaks to, you know, job well done to you guys and filmmakers. Because, yeah, it was terrifying. And so, yeah, I, I can't wait to see two and three. Uh, but I also, you know, you mentioned Barbarian earlier. You know, I know Zach Kreger has an, another movie coming out that everyone's excited about. And I was curious what it was like. You know, I was so I, I remember I interviewed Justin Long when Barbarian came out a while back. And I was just curious what it was like working on that movie, working with Zach and and Justin and all those guys. If, I know it was probably a while ago at this point. Yeah, same kind of vibe. Yeah, it was a couple of years back, but it was, you know, I mean, again, that wasn't a big film when it was being made. You know, it was a bigger film than Last Call, definitely. Um, but it had the same, it was still an indie film. You know, I know it had Justin Long and 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 whatnot, but it wasn't, um, you know, and Skarsgård, Bill Skarsgård, but it was, it was still, you know, relatively speaking, a small film. And it was, a lot of people were doing it for the love of the script and for Zach. And, I, and Zach, I don't know what he directed before that much, but I mean, I'm sure he has. But this was, you know, um, he was a fairly new director to me. And again, just, you know, again, I just vibed off the guy, just like I did off Francis, you know, from just chatting with him. And and we had so much fun. We had two weeks together shooting that sequence. And it was just like, or, or I can't remember, but just the collaboration with Zach you know, just so inspiring. It's so much fun. It's the same kind of vibe I got with Francis. You know, I'm lucky that every, you know, I work a lot. You know, I'm flying. I'm in Pittsburgh now. I'm somewhere after this. And, I, you know, I, I go from character actor, I go job to job. You know, I'm doing my thing. And every once in a while, I get these experiences that really re-inspire me as to why I do it. And they're usually not the best paid jobs. You know, we don't make a lot of money in those films. Yeah. But it's just the inspiration of working with people like Zach and working with Francis, you know, 
And I'm having it again, actually, on this TV series I'm doing here in Pittsburgh. And it's just real inspiration and real joy work, you know, again. Um, and it's why it reminds why I do it. So working with Zach was just a was a buzz, you know. These these guys that just love making these films. And Francis is the same. Um, a real filmmaker. And it shows the guy's doing Evil Dead now, you know, the new Evil Dead. Oh yeah. You know, for, you know, he's gone from making his first feature film um, to, you know, signed by all the biggest agencies and before anybody even saw the film and uh, except them and uh, and and shooting uh, the, the new Evil Dead. You know, I mean, that's that doesn't happen often. Yeah. You know, it says a lot about his skill and his his uh, brilliance, really, as a yeah. director and a writer. Well, great. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, and hats off to you. I mean, I, I, I tell you, I must be the lucky charm because Zach's great. <laughs> I, you know, he's just. I remember seeing Zach for shortly after Barbarian Open. We had we had a coffee uh, in 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 L.A. And you know, he was like, he had that look that you get where like, what happened? <laughs> three, you know, three months ago, I was making this film, you know, and with a bunch of guys in Bulgaria, and you know, not much money. And now I'm, you know, he's got more offers and he was just like his whole life had changed overnight. And, you know, Francis was the same. I remember, you know, Francis just, you know, barely can get this film put together. Luckily, you know, his mate sells a house, our mate. And then he's, you know, next time I'm talking to him, he's head spinning because, you know, the phone doesn't stop ringing. <laughs> so I think of myself as the lucky charm. <laughs> I, I I was literally going to say something to that effect. You beat me to it. So I, you know, all the indie producers no, no, thanks, out thanks. there, take note. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. If you direct it, I'm the guy who got put in your film. That's exactly, right. exactly. Well, great. Well, yeah, congratulate. You know, performances in both of those are wonderful. I can't wait to see, you know, the rest of your projects that are in the works strange uh yeah the strangers and everything else you're a busy man so congratulations on everything and it was very nice to meet you thank you nice to meet you too